how they look. They are fly. True wireless audio is here. That's great. And now it's we've what got everybody commercial wants. Somewhere. <laughs> That's awesome. So I think if we go here, I think we're actually probably live now. Yeah, we are. Okay, hey, hello and welcome to episode 499 of Yoga with Melissa. We are leading up to episode 500 and um, today we are doing, um, we're going to, sounds like maybe there's another ad running somewhere else. Does sound like it. Yeah. Um, today awesome. we're going to be reacting so, to our first here. video. So. Um, if you're joining us, then uh, please say hello, hello in the um, comments. Your own voice. Is me talking? Yeah. Oh, we're not running. So we need to figure out which tab you've got me running in then as well. Because it's not running on that one. Um, because I've got a, this tab here, so I have to mute here. There you go. Does that work? Yeah. How come the video wasn't running though? It is. This is our screen down here. That's what we're, that's what the uh, the world looks at right now. Oh, okay. I just didn't see that that one moving. This one down here is yeah. because we haven't hit play yet. Okay. Is that not All right. <laughs> okay, so we're we're trying something new. So bear with us. A little bit. Yeah. What do you think of the backdrop? <laughs> <laughs> looks good. They can barely see it. Hey, we Elka. How are you doing? Friends. Where are you seeing? Oh, okay. Hello, Maria. Hello, Elka. So today we are going to be reacting to our first ever video and reflecting back on our, hi Siba, we're reflecting back on our last 10 years on YouTube. So um, it's pretty amazing that we've been doing this for 10 years together and that we are still <laughs> married. <laughs> <laughs> so, and we just appreciate all of you who have been with us uh, through this journey. Can I, could I interrupt for a moment? Of course. Can we just get a hi, technical? Tatiana. It's, hey, Tatiana. Uh, can we get a technical thing? Can everybody hear us okay? Just give us a, just let us know if you can, um, LG, how's it going? Um, and Elizabeth, just let us know if you can actually hear us. I th so the difficulty we have right now is that we can't actually hear the stream because if we, then we'd get a weird echo, wouldn't we? Well, we shouldn't because we're plugged in. Oh. Right? Shouldn't well, get... we, we shouldn't get an, uh, but if I unmute this, then they're going to hear that. Why would they hear it? Cause... Because that's what they're watching. So we can only play this over here. Like if I play this, right. they'll they... hear that. Right. Anyway, let's that's come back to it. That's what we want to do. Audio is fine, Elka says. <laughs> Yay! Hi, Brian. Hi, Elizabeth. <laughs> okay. Oh, great. And LG, okay. yes, audio is good. Thanks, Siba. Okay. Steve. Steve. okay, great. So, uh, 10... Can we do one more test? Uh, yeah, let's test away. Okay, can you hear when we play a video? I'm gonna press the play now. The, the audio is perfect. Can you? What's up? First time. We head. kind of heard it, right? We've got a few seconds delay. Oh, that's true. The back of the head resting on the ground. So hopefully you heard some really cheesy music and uh, part of episode one with Melissa. If you heard it, give us a thumbs up. Yeah. And okay. then we'll get it going. Because part we want to react to our first video. Whew, I'm getting hot. You're getting warm, are you? <laughs> this is this is like feels like a pretty high pressure situation. Trying to figure out how to do this, uh, reacting to our first video, react. and and we're attached like Siamese twins here or something with this this one <laughs> this one little old uh, old headphone situation. If I just do that with that, it'll be fine. We'll 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 hit our. We'll hit our stride here. Our mark. <laughs> Loud and clear. Thanks, Elizabeth. Thanks, okay. Jane. Sounds like we're doing Welcome, just everybody. Fine. It's great to see everybody. And as I said, we just so appreciate all your support over the last 10 years. It's a bit surreal. Oh, the video sound. Yay, that's great. <laughs> okay. So Who's... this video is going to work somewhat. <laughs> Someone's logged into one of our other YouTube channels. That's probably Ivy. Oh, hi, Ivy. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, yes, cheesy music, Elka. Yes, for sure. Uh, okay. Yeah. So well, what do you want to do? Are we getting right People now? love that music for a long time, and some people actually ask about it still. I love you a long time, too. Tim, <laughs> behave. So, 
The plan today is to react to our first video and to talk about the last 10 years, but not just our last 10 years, but to reflect back on everybody's last 10 years because it's not just us that have had a constant in the last 10 years. All of you have had some kind of constant over the last 10 years. You know, at the very least, you've been with your own self for the last 10 years. Many of you have practiced yoga and meditation over the last 10 years. Lots of you have been in a relationship with either a partner or your children over the last 10 years. Um, many of you have been in a, a work situation. You've held one job over the last 10 years. Many of you have lived in one place for the last 10 years. So I want you to just right now reflect on what's been your constant over the last 10 years and go ahead and write that in the comments and just keep this in mind as we go through our reacting video because we're going to be thinking about how things have, you know, as much as things stay the same, as, as much as there's this kind of one constant, things, <laughs> things grow and change as well. So, um, yeah, that's what I want to know. I want you to be on, I, you've always been on this journey with us. And so I want you to share your journey in the comments as well. What's been the constant uh, for you over the last 10 years and to reflect on, you know, a lot's changed in our world over the last 10 years. And we're going to, and we're going to reflect on that too, as we're, we're reacting to this video. So uh, start putting your comments in the comment box and let's, shall we react to this video? We episode shall. episode one so I think so let's let's play you ready i'm ready to play kinda, <laughs> i'm ready to play crazy how far back youtube is isn't yeah it? well we were some of the first pioneers in terms of um getting started and that's the one of the interesting things is that when we got started being a youtuber wasn't a thing now it's like one of the top things that children want to be when they grow up is being youtubers but when we started that wasn't a thing at all it wasn't you got blank stares what do you do we make yeah. youtube videos, we make YouTube videos. People <laughs> that like, was a very strange but that thing. wasn't even what we did at the beginning so no. let's press play and we'll get all into that in the next hour awesome okay so um I, what i wanted to talk about here at the beginning allow there uh, to be space between the teeth is um because i had a little look at this last night before i started and um I wanted to just thank, first of, of all, Terry Marucci from uh, Perfect Form in, uh, I, I don't know where she is now. I think she, she's not in this location anymore. She's still in Ajax or is she? Yeah, she arms. still runs Perfect Perfect. She still runs Perfect Form. The lower arms. And uh, she opened up her place to us and that was, that was very kind of her at the beginning. We were an unknown, but you know, we had a relationship with her and I ran my classes out of there and she just, she let me uh, film my, film my classes there. Um, the other thing that really stands out to me from the beginning, this is uh, Lori the and um, the I, I, I introduced the him at the beginning, but I forget his name right now. John. John? It could be John. The yeah. Um, what was really important to me at the beginning of the show was that I teach. And so having students, uh, what I did at the beginning was I taught the class that I was teaching in class at, at the week. So. Uh, Tim actually, this the whole show was Tim's idea. He approached me and he said, um, I want you to put, I want to start a yoga show. Back, and I thought, oh my pelvis. God, that sounds like a lot of work and it sounds like a lot of work for you. So the only way that I'll do that is if we just film the class that I'm so teaching this week and it's going to be more run and gun. And if you will, um, you know, the that's where the, the slogan Real Yoga for Real People came from because we just didn't want it to be, uh, you know, both of us had you know our full-time gigs then and I just didn't want it really to be to too much work for him so uh, we back. agreed to that and and that's where we started filming this and uh, so it, it really uh, being a teacher was really important uh, for me at the beginning and uh, you can see that uh, it was about teaching from the beginning as we have you know it's it uh, I was always the I was never the sage on stage. I was always the guide on the side. And it took me a while. I can see, you can see in this first uh, episode, it took me a really a, a while to become a video instructor. Like, it, I was really awkward. Um, I, I, what I noticed in watching the first video 
was that it took me a while to become a video instructor. Like I knew that there was another student <gasps> behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't see me efforting this much anymore. <laughs> But um, yeah, it took me a while to um, connect it, with doing um, great. Huh. the student behind more. the camera. Although I always Just did connect with the student behind the camera. It wasn't so much for me about my workout ever. It was always about uh, teaching. So, all right. I should mention at this point that the reason why we even got into it was because of the camera purchase. Yeah, that's an important part of the story too. So a, a really good friend of mine, his name's Dave, and uh, Dave's uncle contacted Dave. <laughs> Look how exhausted I am there. Whew, that's <laughs> probably the most abs I ever did that, all that week. I Look, I'm, I'm even laughing Are you about that. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> so Dave's uncle contacted Dave and said, "Hey, I, I need you to shoot a commercial for my real estate agency, and um, can you do it?" And so Dave looked at me and said, yes, we can do it for sure. So Dave said, uh, what do you think it would cost to do something like that, Tim? I said, well, we're going to need a camera. So I said, uh, give me a second. I contacted g, &G Electronics in Toronto and uh, I spoke with, uh, his name is Jerry, one of the G's in the G&G &G, and met up with Jerry and said, um, how much for this HD cameras had just come on the marketplace and they required tapes, but I got this really cute little HD camera from g, &G Electronics. They were amazing. They really helped me out. And uh, in fact, I bought the wrong one and then I exchanged it 90 days later. And they're like, yeah, no problem. We can exchange it for you. Look after you, Tim. We'll get you the right version. So I got the next model up, the HDR HC7. And um, the price of the commercial, uh, I told uh, Dave's uncle, was going to be the price of the camera. He didn't know that. but uh, So I went out with the money. From my, he said, how much of a deposit? I said, <laughs> the same amount as the camera. Went and bought this camera. So then we had this HD camera sitting there. And I thought, why not use it and, uh, and make some videos? Yeah. And I think the other thing to mention, there's a few things that that brings up for me, is that um, we filmed back 10 years ago. We were filming in high definition, but um, we were filming on tape. And so the reason why Yoga with Melissa always came out on a Friday is because, look how cute my hair looks at the back there. And yeah, later. We get, we'll get to see all the hairstyles over the 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, the reason why, yeah, you can just let it run and we'll, we'll go to the comments in a few seconds here. Uh, this is also the Spinal Energy series here, which I think, gosh, I, I should go back and watch many of my videos to cut, to remind me of things that I've forgotten over the years. It's such a great series for the spine. Anyway, um, the reason why Yoga with Melissa came out on Fridays uh, back then was because it took us all week to get the video up. Yeah. You know, we would film early in the week and then, I mean, now we're just... Lazy. You had to take, get the tape. I had to transfer <laughs> yeah. the tape to the computer. Then we had to edit. It's the... Jack. Jack. That, that was Jack. Jack. That's right. It was Jack. Jack. And then um, once we edited, then I edited it. Then I had to upload it. And 10 years ago, internet speeds were... So slow. Oh, my goodness. So I would go to... after. So first of all, I'd have to go to bed and let the computer, what we call render, that is to make the final video. And that took so long, too. I just... I would go to bed. And then sometimes Except you'd wake up in the morning... And it would have failed. Failed, yeah. And you think, oh, oh my gosh, I've got to do this again. So then yeah. I'd set the computer up and do it again. And then the upload took about six or seven hours. Now back right at the very beginning, yeah. you're going to notice a lot of the old episodes up till around, I'm going to say around the mid seventies. Um, they were only t the ten minute versions, and that's because back in the day, YouTube didn't even let you upload longer than ten minutes. So yeah. we actually use a separate service called. Do you remember the service? Blip. Blip TV. And they're not even around anymore. They've unfortunately closed their doors. Yeah. So we had to, what we were doing is uploading the full versions to Blip TV and just, just a little 10 minute clip on YouTube. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the other cool thing about that was that we were one of the first channels because we had so, so much consistency and, you know, we were releasing every week. Uh, we were one of the first channels to be opened up to having long form content, which was a real, which was a real honor. Yeah. So let's check in with some of these contents because uh, comments. contents comments because uh, a lot of people have commented on on their constants over uh, the last ten years. So uh, let's a little bit back more. I see some people have joined us, so let's say hello. 
back a little bit more. Okay, yeah. Okay, so Sean says, congrats on 499 episodes, and we'll be celebrating 500 next week. We have a real treat for you next week, and we'll, we've got a premiere coming up. I'll be here. We have a brand new instructor for episode 500. <laughs> That's a teaser for you. And I'll be here. Uh, we're doing a premiere for it, and I'll be here live uh, responding to your comments next week. Oh, you just got rid of the comments, so I, I can't. I did, didn't I? Okay. Uh, Lucille says over the last 10 years, she's been watching uh, YouTube. So uh, I'm curious over the last 10 years, uh, Lucille, how has um, YouTube changed for you? How has your experience of YouTube changed if you've been watching it for the last 10 years? What else? What other comments do we have here? Um, Jane loves the first video. Thank you, Jane. Yeah, Jane. Jane. Did you like all that zooming action with the? <laughs> you know zoom. what? I watched the. I watched the. Um, I was watching it yesterday, and I was thinking you can let it roll because we might. So have we're getting some just comments. us now. We're gonna read through the comments, and then okay. we'll go to episode next one. Uh, I was watching yesterday. And I was like, "Wow, it's, it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be." Well, I did it's, notice as well, also that the resolution is only three sixty p, so it's not even the high resolution yeah, version. Yeah, but it looks good. It looks way better than I thought it would. You know, from the beginning, we were very professional. The sound was good. And, you know, I thought we'd sit here and laugh at it. But even, you know, the teaching, whenever I go back, I sometimes think, oh, I'm going to be a little embarrassed about my teaching. But, you know, the teaching is solid from the beginning. Like Jane says, it's a class that she goes back to. So, so Lucille says the constant for her over the last 10 years was wanting to get back to teaching and leaving City Leaf and finding her true home near the ocean, which is something that she's done uh, very re recently, yeah, wanting to leave City Life. So yeah. that's amazing. And now she's back on the ocean. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. Said. That's really, I know. Uh, I'm just echoing you. <laughs> it's helpful. Really like emphasize what I'm saying. It's really good. I could be an owl. Um, <laughs> So Simone says she's been on the journey with me for the last two and a half years. So thank you so much, Simone. We really appreciate your support. Um, and she's a little shy to be here as a youngster. How old are you, Simone? Nobody's too young. That's uh, okay. So Ivy said the first four classes hooked her and it was great to feel she was attending a class with other people, even though she was at home. I think Ivy has actually been with us for 10 years. Ivy, can you leave in the comments? I'm, She's one of the only people I think that uh, I know really well that's been with us for 10 years. Jane must be really close to that. Yeah. And Tatiana says she's been with her family in the same place for the last 10 years. And she's been with my uh, videos for the last seven years. and. It's really great to have such a close relationship with so many of you, like Lucille and Ivy and Tatiana now. That's been one of the really greatest gifts for me. Um, I, I'm going to talk about this coming up in a little bit, but one of the things as the YouTube channel grew it was a real heartache was um, really uh, the circumstances of my life really pointing me to having to leave um the studio situation that I was in and as a result the students that I was teaching in Toronto and you know I developed really close relationships with them we'd had babies together we'd lost family together um, you know we'd been through life together we'd watched each other get married and and so um, yeah, but to uh, now I have that with a lot of you as well, so it's been a real gift. Um, Jane's been following me on YouTube for nine years and six years in the membership. Oh, so there as, it is. Thank as you, I Jane. say, yeah, a lot, a lot of you, we've we've had a very long term relationship and a very close relationship too. I think one of the closest relationships that you can have is is with your teacher, and uh, that's been a real gift. And it's. It's a gift for me, too, to have that kind of close relationship with some of my closest students. I think there's a few more below that, if you wouldn't mind scrolling down, Tim. Oh, yeah, I said that. I, okay. Yeah. And um, Cosmic Hamsters? That's hilarious. I love that YouTube channel name. Fiona, <laughs> that's awesome. <Yeah. laughs> that's hilarious. Hi, Fiona. Um, and hi, Valerie. And uh, thank you, Patrick, yeah. for sharing with your friends. That's awesome. Hannah's been with us for a long time, too. 
Yeah, so uh, let us know what's been the constant for you over the last 10 years. That would be a great thing. Um, Fiona slowing coming back to the restorative classes. Those are always wonderful. Hannah emailed her and said that she'd noticed that we were close to 500. That's so cool. I love the fact that the people, members and community members interact back and forth. I think that's that's just amazing. Yeah. Should I scroll down a bit more? Oh, Simone, she says... Um, she says young, not by age, but in terms of others that are here. Yeah. Oh. It, you know what? That doesn't matter. <laughs> We're happy to have you. And, you know, sometimes people come in and it feels like they've been here forever. You know, it, it, we can become very close very quickly. Uh, Donna says, much gratitude for all you do. Your style of yoga has helped me through many challenges in my mind life and my body and yin has been a special gift yeah yin's been amazing i'm glad i finally embraced that as a style that i think has always been uh, meant to be for me uh hi marisol from mexico city and elka says she's been a follower for about two years or so so that's a long time too to stay committed to one teacher and a especially now like this, I think this is something that's really changed over the last 10 years too online. You know, I was one of not many at the beginning, but now I'm one of so many. So to really stay with the teacher now and to settle uh, is a big deal now. So I oh. really appreciate that. Did you notice that we almost hit 50,000 subscribers on this channel? Yeah, we're really? Really close. Yeah, yeah like 49,000 something like 900 or something cool i'll show that in a moment awesome okay shall we go back to we episode were gonna, 100 we're gonna yeah we're gonna take a little journey through the last uh 10 years now so this is episode 100. 100 i was so emotional this day our series on what? yoga for the emotions I just, days it was happy tears you know it, it felt like such a huge Hello, accomplishment you know those milestones and you know you guys can leave in the comments uh you know what kind of milestones in your life there are certain markers in your life here's we use this intro for quite a while i, I uh, love this intro that was a fun intro yeah it got too long for well, look at that pan in tim oh loving it <laughs> oh and the zoom and the zoom oh nice nice yeah i remember i was crying at the beginning and it, it made this my good friend ninka it made her kind of uncomfortable she didn't want me crying because of course it meant much more to me having filmed 100 episodes than it did to her right <laughs> and those shirts dave did for us we mentioned dave already oh yeah yeah the, dave the, the guy friend. that uh, yeah got me my first video gig yeah so i think yeah milestones so uh, Ivy wants to know if we still correspond with. Yeah, see, there I am getting really choked up. Really oh my choked gosh. Up. Yeah, I, I remember I getting really this. choked up. And Nick is like, uh, you better hold it together. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh gosh. And Ninka can be a blubbering mess too. So I'm not really sure why she was so uncomfortable. Five or six. There's one now. Eagles. Yeah, and we had eagles, which was head. So we're talking about. Really. Which was unusual um, in Ontario. Really special. Yeah, we were yeah. on Lake Ontario there. Well, so this whole class south, is for you. Because right? it was that time of year when they would they, they would collect on the, uh, the shores of Lake Ontario and yeah. wait for the day, and then they cross over and get back down to the U.S. for warm weather you. in the winter. Yeah. I think that's probably okay. The time. We gotta calm down. <laughs> 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 there she is. She's giving me a hug. Okay. Yeah, Nick and I were really so close then. And she would step in and help me out a lot whenever I needed help. And we even we were even talking we're about opening a studio together for a while, with, which uh, we didn't um, end up doing. Um, we aren't. We don't really talk anymore. She's really busy now, with her own studio and teacher training and things like that now. Uh, when I left Ontario, a lot of my students. Um, just automatically went over to her because I recommended that they did and many of my students have taken teacher training with her now so um yeah Nick is lovely. yeah she's a great person she's a studio in Whitby yeah she has a studio in Whitby so if you're on the east end of Toronto you can uh, definitely still study with her <laughs> like lie down Ninka <laughs> Oh my yeah. gosh, it's all overexposed on her face. Yeah, oh gosh. Uh oh. Oh, there we are. So this mudra That's how you do the mudra. From Italy. I was really into mudras um, there. Asked 
for us to include the prana yoga. so it's supposed to yeah so this this was part of the yoga for emotion series which is actually one of our most popular series um i think generally people are sort of myself included feel quite overwhelmed by their emotions and appreciate support around them nick is trying not to i tried not to laugh that was funny yeah, she, just going back, back through some of the yeah she was kind of ivy. overwhelmed by it was a great intro thanks response. tatiana uh it ended up getting too long that intro because people's attention spans went down quite a bit over the last 10 years I mean, it used to be that I could uh, teach more at the beginning, and then the tolerance for that went way down too. Get the biggest complaint we've had over the last ten years is that I talk too much, and I've changed my teaching a lot over the last ten years to adapt for that. Mm -hmm. um, and I think for the best, and for those people that really want more of the teaching now that's all in the membership community now, and we really dive deep with that, and we have just separate um dharma talks now in the membership community and and they're they're huge deep dives and and i think that's that is for the best and it's where it should be now are you ready to skip over now to the next one yeah sure okay so you wait there oh now. you know what before screen. we go on what I, something else that i want to say before we go on as well we're kind of closer to the beginning uh before yeah is that um when we started um being on camera wasn't a thing. It was, now everybody has iPhones and front-facing cameras and people are used to being on camera. But actually back when we were filming our DVDs in 2007, people had flip phones. People weren't using their cell phones as to film themselves or to take photographs or anything. Corona's, right? <laughs> and so uh, being on video was, wasn't really normal. So um, it was, it was a big deal. Yeah. I just wanted to say that. Okay. Yeah. You said it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on. I mean, now people are used to seeing themselves on video and they're practiced at it too because the, you can hold up a video and you can see what you look like. That's the other thing. Like back then, you didn't know what you looked like until you watched yourself the week for the week after. It must have been odd for you. It was odd. And you can see even in episode 100 how much better I am at it, you know, 100 episodes in as opposed to the first one. But it, now you can get on a video camera and most people have some experience with being on video just because of their phones. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, right? That's what you're saying. Okay, so episode 200. This was probably the highlight of my Yoga with Melissa career. We had a tons yoga of people. And today's theme is? Transformation. <laughs> Transformation, that's right. So we had tons of people come. This is our current. Do we still use this one? No, we don't. No. This is another intro. Oh, we had lots of intros. Yeah. And then the, this one got, was too long, too, in the end. Oh, but I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it was good. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to enjoy it for a minute. Because we had different music, too. You know, one thing that's really funny is that um, people's animal companions... Ivy says it was culture shock when we changed over to the new intro. Culture, well, yeah, culture shock when we changed over the new intros. Uh, people's animal companions, their dogs and their cats, apparently come running at the sounds of the new intro. <laughs> really? At the sounds of the intros. Yeah. But the thing is, then you change it on them and they don't they don't know. You have to retrain them. Aw. appreciate you so much. And so Aww. there's Donna from Squeeze. She supplied the clothes for about seven years. I was figuring that out last night, too. She's She's like a mother for me for many years, too. She's and awesome. Thank you yeah. to Dusky Lee for um, my yoga mat. And so, a so many of you came out for episode 400 and came from a long way, too. Many people came from later. the States. Many of you came Becky. from all over Ontario. And uh, so, so, let's just pause so we can say, see who's in, the, who's in this. So, we've got Anne Marie. We've got Sarah. We've got Alison Brancone. We've got Donna, we've got Lisa Lisa, 
uh, there's so many people here and, and many of them actually have been out to visit me here in BC now too, wow, which is quite incredible. It is amazing. Isn't yeah. It? But that day was so incredible. I remember the night before I couldn't sleep. I was so excited because all these people were going to be coming. And it was such a great day. It was so cold out there that day, though. And we haven't had anything like this since, you know, because uh, we had so many people in that community because I had taught there. Um, I had taught in that area, so all the people that I had taught came out for that, and then many I'm people so drove in. Whereas where we live now on an island, it's hard to get here. It's really hard to get here. Um, and everybody's wearing their squeeze clothes, which is cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, Lisa Dowering right there um, in the blonde at the back, she's been out to visit me. That's amazing. Yeah, right? so cool to see everybody. And afterwards, we all went to this place, this amazing place in Oshawa called The Table. And um, we just had amazing lunch together. And <laughs> look, at it. it's like synchronized swimming for yoga. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, it was such a great day. Such a great, great, great day. And, you know, I, it's interesting, expectations versus reality. Um, Yeah, so some people are talking about my weight changes here in the comments. So I, th I thought that might come up. Um, so I'm, I'll speak to that. Um, my, my weight has fluctuated over the years, and it's been mostly because of my health. Um, I suffer from chronic migraines. And during this time, I was actually really ill. My migraines were the worst they've been over the last... Um, seven years so how long ago is episode 200 what year was that uh well if i click this button here it'll tell us exactly october 2013 so that's six years ago yeah that was about the worst and my body was just like basically eating itself and and people would ask me all the time because i looked fantastic on camera the camera does put weight on you I looked fantastic on camera then, and I would get so many comments on how do you how do you control your weight? How do you lose weight? How do I look like you? And it was like I would be puking my guts out with these migraines all the time, and I was like, you guys don't want that. You don't want that diet. It was it was horrible, and so I was... feel grateful enough that um, my health has improved. I I still have migraines, but that um, I've been able to put weight back on. So, yeah. Shot on the shores of Lake Ontario. Yeah, shot on the shores of Lake Ontario. But yeah, it's good when people bring that up because I think it's important. A lot of women strive to be this thin. And if you were to see me in person, it, I was thinner than that, right? You have to remember this is on camera. You were sick. Yeah, it was really, it was, uh, You're doing it was not right good. It was not good. And uh, I don't really think worrying. as women we should strive to be that thin. And we need women like me to s speak up and say... That it's, that's not the ideal. And it's unfortunate that it gets touted as the ideal. Are we ready to, for number 300? Yeah. So I also wanted to say expectation versus reality. Like I, th I thought that, you know, um, oh, here, I, you know, there was a sense of feeling like I had arrived at episode 200, you know, because everybody had uh, gathered around and we had this great connection and so many people came and then life really changed after that you know there's, a little bit yeah <laughs> <laughs> we could, i mean we sold the house as i mentioned i was really ill i gave up i gave up at that time i was i th i don't know i had maybe either really recently given up teaching in a yoga studio i had given up seeing private yoga therapy clients i had given up seeing thai massage clients and I had gone all in on yoga with Melissa online, teaching on YouTube. Things just changed drastically in our lives. And yeah, we sold our house. Well, that comes up because if we and go we to episode moved. 300, we... So this is in 2013, October. Yeah. In 2014, October. Well, in 2014, May, we, we made a trip. We moved across the country. So we had a humongous change in our lives. Humongous. So let's see that. Yeah. So I think that must be this one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, just closing windows, guys. Sorry. There we are. And 
Thanks, Jane. She's quite eloquent, isn't she? Oh, again, welcome to episode 300. So of here we are, episode 300, and I sort of so thought that by 300 we would all be meeting together on some retreat to somewhere. But things really changed, I think, when we came episode of to... There's a, it was a real reset for us to arrive here and settle into life here. And for anybody who's made a big move and change like that, you know, even though we had this amazing constant with yoga with melissa it's taken us a good five years to establish ourselves here and to really feel like we've got our feet on the ground here um oh for sure yeah absolutely for yeah sure. like you arrive we had never been here i'd never been to victoria had you had been here as a child right for a vacation like one for like a day trip or something to victoria i'd lived on the mainland as a child so i i knew my heart was here and i wanted to be back out here and i was trying to get to him out here and i said so i let him choose where in british columbia we lived i wanted to be on the west coast but so you choose chose the island which kind of threw me and the island's much different than the mainland, although I don't know that the main a big move to the mainland would have been any easier. <laughs> but as you can imagine, we arrived, we knew nobody. Yeah, nobody. Uh, although we were completely like blessed to know Char, like you yeah, know, Char so the you guys, the you guys uh, welcomed us in. So uh, having all of you again, one of uh, our viewers, one of my students, she put us up in her home for a good solid. Oh, she two was or amazing. Three weeks. You know what she said? She said, um, and they went away too. She's like, oh, we're gonna go away for. They like were a going week. on a cruise. Gonna, so they they, let they us... actually they went to Israel. Oh, they were in Israel. Okay, that's right. They went to Israel and they like. Oh, they well, said, here, okay, here, have our house. Have our house, and we'll and be we... back. And <laughs> good luck finding a place because the the um, occupancy rate because we rent here in Victoria is like one percent or something it's very difficult to find places to live and we had moved it's zero out. point something right now in Victoria yeah and it was it was what one when we moved here and this set is right there yeah so what we did how we made Shore? that well we can just talk about it most, okay. most people here have um, living rooms well, my, most people here have living room. Well, you know what? Show it. Looks yeah. Show yeah. it because um, what we did was so that's what it looks like now. We ended up, you know, we ended up painting the wall, which I don't know if that's allowed in our rental, but <laughs> <laughs> back then. Oh well, nobody said anything since since uh, we've our landlord's been in and the owner of the building's been in and. They're I, awesome people. I, yeah, I, I think they just like us. So we're good tenants other than painting our wall. <laughs> but those are those big brown things because we didn't want to paint the wall. We didn't want to paint the wall. We were we were being really good people for a while, for a few years. You'll see. <laughs> um, and what they were is this, um, it's like styrofoam. What is it like? Yeah, they're um, four by eight sheets of styrofoam that we covered with. Yeah, insulation. Just yeah, like we covered half, it with material. Yeah, cheap, cheapest material I could find. Yeah, you were really cheap about it. It annoyed me. A little bit. You yeah. never mentioned it. Oh. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> it was a big train for Trini, too. You're absolutely right. We have a daughter, yeah. and uh, it was a big change for her. It was a big change. I think it was the best thing for her. Oh, my goodness, yeah. Yeah. She didn't have the best um, friend situation in her school there. And, um, you know, she's had a lot, a lot of challenges here in high school but i don't know many kids you know what kids event. get out of high school and skate if you reflect back on your your high school experience traumatized I think, I think is the word yeah nobody i don't think anybody would be like yeah i'll go back to high school that was amazing shall we go on to episode yeah. 400 um yeah so i yeah i think just my expectation of how it was going to be was was different so here we are still and this this backdrop did not last long because I knew I'd, I was trying to bring the color scheme in better and it didn't work very well. That Tim, again, was being very cheap with material. That material didn't last very long. Well, it was a struggle, right? Financially moving here and yeah, living here. Yeah, the city is very expensive to live in. It's an expensive in. city and we were accustomed to Toronto, which is not cheap. But there are things about this city that are a lot more expensive. Yeah. Uh, food. Yeah. Um, and it's taken us a long time to figure that out. 
We let us know have. in the comments. So yeah, that backdrop okay. event. So as you and saw, we pulled that down and we painted the wall, which I think it looks way better now. I'm really happy with our backdrop now for winter celebration. What's your happiest memory of celebration? And I just want to start out by thanking all of you. Top right. Thanking all of you for. Thank you, Michelle. Michelle says we're both inspiring, and she loves that we work together and we're building this dream together with me. Watching too, the right? videos, like you and I work together videos, better than we did. Leaving yeah. a comment, like we've it was a pressing bit that like harder button, at the beginning. And subscribing to the channel. Yeah, we've all. had a lot of challenges. It hasn't always been easy working together. I mean, it you can imagine working together every single day and then working on set and trying to get videos out. There's been times where we've fought a lot on set, so I mean, that doesn't come out in the videos that you get. Maybe it does. Maybe you can see that we're sometimes we're struggling with each other. But I think that's normal in 10 years. You can't be doing things where there's, you know, deadlines involved and and also where your income is dependent on it. You know, there's never been a plan B for Tim and I for the last, you can see the last, so since 2013, so the last six years. Yeah. And and then really since fourteen we were both all in, and so a lot we of we were committed. We were both committed. We sold the and house, that, sold a yeah. small business that I was running in Toronto. Um, and a lot of people think, oh, that's amazing. Now you have Tim, which yes, but it also meant that we lost have... at the second income, right? Yeah. So our income went way down, and yeah, we're all in because we really believe in what we do, and we know that what we're doing makes a difference. And I think if people actually saw, you know, we were very lucky because we started so early. <laughs> Cosmic answers. Sometimes I see Melissa giving Tim the look. Especially, <laughs> Especially when, when he has the timer. timer. Tim has been fired from the timer. I don't know if you've seen that in recent episodes. I am episodes. no longer in charge of the timer. <laughs> Believe it or not, when you're actually filming somebody, there's stuff to do. He's got to lots done. to do. Yeah, there are a yeah. few things to be done. I think we've both grown a lot and we both have a lot more respect for what each other does. So um, I used to get like so frustrated with how long it takes Tim to set up. Tell me more. The episode. Well, sometimes it can take Tim almost like close. It can easily take Tim half an hour. Like that's just normal for you to set up a shoot, to get the lighting right, to get the sound oh, right. Oh, indoors. Okay, but outdoors too. It doesn't take me that long. It sure does. And I can just be sitting there we'll waiting. We'll talk about this off camera. <laughs> Yeah, and so now I just recognize that that's how it, how long it takes. Thank you, Anne. Right? Anne says, thank you for making such a difference. And uh, yeah, but the th thing I want to say is that for me, it's always been about you guys, right? And making a difference in, in your lives. And that's because you guys connect with us and you, you know, and it's, for me, it's never been... I'm not going to say it's never been because, of course, I'm a human being and it's easy to get caught up in this in this world, the numbers. But what I know for sure is that... <laughs> Look at that what? filmmaking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That was awesome. <laughs> it's live though, right? That was a live stream, yeah. yeah. So That was one of the first live streams we ever did. Really? Ep episode 300 was. Was this episode 400? No, it was 100 oh. episodes ago. Anyway. Um, that's actually something that's going to change soon. But, uh, but just let me finish this Sorry, sorry, here. your thoughts. Sorry, sweetie. Sorry. <laughs> what, I, what I will say is that um, I have enough uh, grounding or awareness to know that it's about connecting with one person and knowing that uh, this, so these that we teachings make First, if they're making a difference in one person's you know, life from that story in our head then that that's enough you know, and to not get caught up in the numbers and i know because i hear from you and there are certain people that have really connected and their stories have really connected and their transformations have really connected and that's that's why i keep going it's not to grow the numbers because um i i don't know if you guys listen to uh, lee harris but he's he's an amazing youtuber you guys sh i i recommend him he does these energy updates but one thing that he says is that um if you connect to one you're connecting to all right there is no there is no separation it's not like I'm you, you're me. If I change, Tim changes. 
if I am able to connect with one of you, all of us change. So it really doesn't matter whether I have 300 subscribers or 3,000 subscribers. If I am able to connect with just one person and one person receives these teachings, then that's, that's amazing, right? If one person is listening. And it happens all over the place. Like I had a big change in January and that had a massive impact on the family. I had a huge impact on how we... Right. And it, that, had, it just ripples through everything. Right. And that was it's because so one person took the time to connect with Tim. One person took the time to connect with Tim yeah. one-on-one, -on -one, listen to him, and really connect with them. So those those one-on-one -on -one connections are so important. And that's why I really love the membership community because we, we connect more personally one-on-one -on -one, and we have, you know, in our in our classroom settings, we were able to see each other and talk one-on-one -on -one more. Yeah. And well, so we have those, those closed classrooms that are really well, much more intimate. Look at Elka said, thank you, Elka. You're right. It would have taken longer in Hollywood to set up. Half an hour is okay. Oh yeah, we're fast. Like, <laughs> because of where we are in Victoria, and because it's like one of the warmest cities, well, it's the warmest city in Canada, which for Americans, perhaps isn't particularly warm, but for Canadians, it's really warm. Um, they do a lot of filming here and a lot of filming in Vancouver as well. So we see some of these big, big studios. And yeah, you're absolutely right. It can take hours to set up oh, one yeah. shot. And, and then they, they get 10 they have, seconds. <laughs> but then they have, and they have tons of people. And equipment. Yeah. And you can see people like taking one photograph and they've got 12 people getting one photograph. Forget and, an hour long video. And every video that we shoot is shot with camera this guy yeah just one camera a lot of people are like how many cameras do you use just one yeah it's amazing right yeah. and this is actually just fyi another plug for gg electronics if you're in toronto <laughs> they're yeah, awesome they were so they were, they were so supportive to us and we've been so lucky to have s such supportive people in our lives and continue to have such supportive people in our lives and Hi, Robin. to have Sorry. such engaged uh students that care about us are you ready for the next episode? Yeah, what are we on? Which one is that? That was 400. Oh, I oh, guess well, that's, that's it. Oh, that's it, Tim. We're done. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize we were there. That's all right. So here, I'm just curious how many people actually subscribe to this now. Okay. Tim's so gonna, if you haven't subscribed... Tim's, Tim's going to show you the behind the scenes. Yeah, the other thing that I was going to say is that I think people kind of have this idea of how much we make on YouTube and... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you can show them right now as you show them. Would you guys like to? Yeah, if why you'd like to show see how much money, how much we, money we make on this YouTube channel a month, um, I, I think th that's worth showing them. Okay. Because you're going to show them how many subscribers we have now, because the way they've changed that now. Um, so you're going to you're going to show them behind the scenes here, behind the wall. Are you ready? This oh, is like, I don't a, know. Just a drum roll. Do you want a drum roll? Hey, you could use this little box here. Just FYI, Melissa, how tall are you? Oh, I'm not this tall. I looked ridiculous. I was barely <laughs> in the <street. laughs> So I'm switching and Tim, you're in a box. Tim's much taller than me. I'm but I didn't taller. want my chin well, to be six. barely in the frame and my head, all that head space. It looks so ridiculous. Yeah. It's so weird to be on camera. Yeah. I'm not used to it. Oh, anyway, here we go. I'm glad you caught us, Robin. It's nice to uh, oh, see you. Oh, ouch. Ow. <laughs> I guess we don't need this anymore. No, we don't. That's we true. We can just let that. Yeah, it's been really nice around. connecting with all of you. So yeah, we're going to show you. Um, so the way YouTube's changed now, they only show you kind of rounded up numbers. So we're going to show you exactly how many subscribers we have now, and we're going to show you how much we make a month on this YouTube channel. Because I think people think that we make a lot of money from YouTube, or that YouTubers make a lot of money, and some do. Uh, Canadians generally make less money. We are monetized. We Alka wants to know if we're monetized. We we have turned off mid-roll ads because we feel that that would interrupt your yoga experience to have mid-roll ads going. And just so you know, the only reason why I turned the ads on in the first place uh, wasn't because we thought we'd make heaps of money, but it has to do with, I thought the algorithm would, would like more people would find us on YouTube if we allowed advertising to be on the channel. Yeah. Does that make sense? Like it if was YouTube about is going to make good... some money, then maybe they'll send us more, more viewers. Yeah. It was about having a good relationship with YouTube so yeah. that they would, because it's 
with, now that there are so many uh, yoga channels, if we were to turn off our advertising, then they're going to put, uh, they're not going to put our videos in front of people uh, versus somebody that has advertising on and they're going to get put in front of people. So, so here we are, show, uh, show behind, the scenes behind the scenes, of a, behind the, the wall. Of an almost 50,000 subscriber. Let's, yeah, so how close right now? I, just after I gave that long speech about not caring about how many subscribers. I think it's really close. <laughs> and then you can see how much we, we're going to make this month, too. Oh, $200. So we're going to make $200. So that's actually pretty good, $200. 200 bucks is nice. Yeah. 49,985 subscribers. So 15 more people subscribe. 15 more people, and then we will be at Between 50, now 000. and when we hit 500, that's episode 500 next Friday. You think, so 550, 10 years and 50,000 subscribers. Alka says the uh, algorithm prefers monetization. It makes sense to me, Alka, that it yeah. does. Yeah. That's um so yeah we need 15 more subscribers before episode 500 my prediction like back in february was uh around episode 500 that we did 50,000. right and i also wanted to thank all of you because uh we put out recently our little shopping cart for amazon and many of you donated to that and so that's something we on Fridays we have something that Tim and I call Financial Freedom Fridays, and so we usually just go through our our budget and we look at our bank account and you know we just try to stay on top of that stuff. So one of the things that we'll be doing today is going through all the donations and seeing the donations that have come in since we asked. And um, <laughs> so Fiona says you deserve to earn more from YouTube. Well, we earn exactly as much as we deserve to earn from YouTube. <laughs> well, it's actually funny. There are a whole bunch of odd things with YouTube. If this channel, if we were just if we were to in move, the U.S., we don't have to move personally. But if we just had our PO, our mailbox in the U.S., our dollar amount per episode would improve, or dollar yeah. per they call it cost per thousand or CPC. Um, would actually increase. Yeah, Canadians significantly. make way less on YouTube. I found out. Just in comparison to other YouTube channels, that the people are like, oh, we make X number of dollars, and they're like a third of the size. And also, your content determines how much you make, too. So, a channel that's about yoga makes way less than a tech channel, or a channel that's reviewing products, or a beauty channel. And also, and this is something that's really important you've stuck to your guns. And this is important because people need to understand that you decided that you would do the entire episode. It might be one hour. What YouTube actually wants are. 10 minute videos, five minute videos, you know, if you, your, your typical cat video, what have you, they want, that's what they really want is short, concise. They don't want long form YouTube channel videos. Right. So, and so as a result, um, the algorithm just kicks you every time. <laughs> so like, and we know is that cause we have a second channel that grows faster than this channel makes more money mm -hmm. and the videos are much shorter, like five minute videos. Right. So this channel has always been about our, our authentic giving a yoga, giving with, a Melissa yoga with Melissa class and really connecting with you week. guys. And this has really been where our community has come from and our connection has come from with you guys. And this has really been where we've been able to make a difference in the world. And for that, we're really grateful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really, really grateful. Yeah, beauty so and games drag in the ads for YouTube. Sure do, sure do. They do, yeah. But we're yeah. not changing. Yeah, no. I mean, we're changing next week. Episode 500, new instructor. You're going to have to check that out. That's going to be exciting. <laughs> yeah, so next week, episode 500, we're officially celebrating 10 years. And we really appreciate you being here to take a look back over the last 10 years and to reflect back on your last 10 years as well and the constants over your last 10 years. And just to have this time to connect together and reflect on our connection over the last 10 years, which we appreciate so much. And as I said, we're going to go through your donations that you've given us. And uh, I know some um, we've got money for batteries for sure. And uh, quite a few of you have donated um, generously to that shopping cart uh, yep. that we've got put together, especially because we'll be coming inside now probably fairly soon. It's been raining and getting cooler. Can I show them one a couple other things? And and if you guys have questions for us, um, put the questions down in the uh, the comments, and Melissa and I will quickly review them. There's yeah. a bit of a time 
Um, yeah. Any questions or awarenesses or insights or any comments that you have? There's anything a, that stands out about your experience over the last 10 years? Uh, any highlights of your experience with yoga with Melissa over the last 10 years? We'd love to share them with each other in the next few minutes before we close out. There are, is a time delay, mm -hmm. but um, during the time delay, you've got something to share. I'm going to show them where Melissa actually does her work. So if you were to stand off your box for a moment. Oh, it's and a just, little messy, but that's that's how it always is. So this is exactly what it always looks like. True to form. So I'm going to scroll down a bit there. There we are. That is Melissa's stand-up desk area with her computer sits here. And then she has a monitor here as well. She uses a laptop. In fact, you use a Chromebook. Where is it? Oh, there it is. This is Melissa's Chromebook, and it sits on here. Or, why don't you go ahead and take position number two, Melissa, which is when you're actually doing your work. Yeah, I do a lot of work sitting down at the... I sit here often, too. All the way over here, in front of the kitchen, is where Melissa does her work. And quite often, she also reads, and you can oh, see her book. Actually, yeah. I move around a lot, don't I? You do. I sit and respond to comments here a lot. Yeah. So you got a big behind the scenes today, guys. We got to see, and you know what? Let me just quickly stay there for a sec. I'm just going to go full screen. Yeah, he says in the hopes that he can. So oh, let me just switch it. So as I said, that's where Melissa spends quite a bit of her time. There's our front door. There's our kitchen. And there's a really ugly... Yeah, that's there for art, right? She does art. So when she's painting with acrylics and stuff or water-based, she uses that. And back over here to her desk. Sorry, guys, because it was really small. I think we're back. Yeah, and just endless, endless uh, jur of these journals. Whoops. Oh, shoot. It's good they're numbered. Um, journals filled with research, because research has always been like my s specialty it's always been oh that's specialty. interesting okay so yeah. let me let's see, just let's review. see the comments as they've come in now now you've seen all that behind now you've the seen scenes. the behind the scenes you've seen how seen. much money this channel makes in a month yeah and um what fifty thousand subscribers looks like um well actually forty nine thousand nine hundred eighty five. Fifteen to go i'm really excited by this mostly i don't know that you really that, think about that kind of stuff like what I do. Yeah, I mean, I, I really try not to get caught up in it because I, as I explained, I think it's just way more important to connect to that one person because think about the way, you know, the way Rick connected with you and the meaningful transformation that you had as a result. Oh, That's absolutely. That's far more important than... 50,000 subscribers. That's just way more meaningful. So, so um, let's start with Ivy says that uh, she's loved getting to know us. Um, so many people all over the world through us both. Yeah, see, that's, that's because, because we met Ivy through this, it's true. And I know many people uh, through us have met like their best friends. So like that, that's priceless, right? That's just priceless right there. Uh, I am Cosmic Hamster. I think if you do what you're passionate about or interested in, there are other people out there that are past passionate about it and interested in it as well, and I agree 100%. Um, Julie Fredericks. Um, really grateful for the connection I feel from both of you. You're such a treasure to me. Thank you, Julie. Uh, Simone. Blessings to all you get donated, Melissa and Tim. I wish you always have enough money uh, to live a, a comfortable living. I will share with you guys, we have a few hopes and dreams. One of, one of the things that I love to do the most is to go camping. And, uh, you know, there's a very short season for camping here, especially when soccer starts. <laughs> <laughs> and then all the weekends are taken up with soccer. <laughs> um, and then the rain starts too. Um, one of the things that we really want to be able to do is to get a teardrop trailer so that we can 
camp in the rain once the rain starts so we don't get so wet in the winter because it's not ever that cold here in the winter but it's wet and you guys know it's not that fun to wrapping up a tent in the rain oh it's just setting up and wrapping up and being wet camping trying to trying to cook out in the rain and stuff so that's one of our dreams is to get a used teardrop and to fix it up make it super cute so we can rent it out when we're not using it and uh yeah so that's one of the things that we're saving up for right now uh sean says we love you guys thanks so much for sharing your yoga over the years would not have made it without you i'm seeing a lot of that yeah. thank you sean, sean for sharing is actually that. actually i almost mentioned sean because he's one of the people that i always think about uh when i think that i need that i want to carry on sean's I, without going into a lot of details about his story, he's experienced a lot of loss in his life, and I, uh, I don't right. think he'll he'll mind me saying that he's lost both his mother and his father, and at a young age. And I feel like uh, I always feel like his mother. He lost his mother first. I'm, I told you I wasn't going into details about his story, but sorry, Sean. I always feel like his mother connected us, and. Um, if you, I, my connection with Sean feels very important, and uh, I'm very grateful to have Sean as a student. So, yeah, uh, and, and he supports he's, us as well. Yeah, he, much appreciated. He, he does, but I feel like I get as much out of the connection as he does, and I, I, it feels very meaningful to me, and it goes beyond him and this life and the afterlife. And Sean, I just, I'm really grateful for our connection. Uh, in fact, along that same. Lines. Oh, look what he said. I honestly think 171.7 might No, no, save... that's, that's from uh, oh, Chris McCann. I... It's okay. Uh, so Fiona says, I think 171 saved my life with my illness. I did it every day for years until I could manage more. That's amazing. Yeah. The impact that you have with these teachings, Melissa, is just astonishing. Yeah. And, you know, like... I have I have a chronic illness. I tend to attract students with chronic illnesses. And, you know, I'm not afraid to get on the phone with people who experience it and talk to them one-on-one -on -one because, you know, I think there's a real... Uh, I feel it too in my own life. And I'm just so willing to sit with you and say, you know, let's just be together for a minute and recognize that you're already perfect and there's no need to fix or change you like and it's just amazing when we connect on that level to see the energy that is just so frenetic that that is this kind of violence that we inflict on ourselves in needing ourselves to be different just go from like up here kind of a panic mode to like because, you know, whatever we're going through, it's not something that we need to get through to be somewhere else. Like, then our spiritual path is going to start. Like, whatever we're going through, this is, this is um, what we are meant to turn towards with love and compassion. And I'm just so willing to be with people, whatever it is that we're going through. And my God, we are all, many of us have had to go through so much trauma and um it's just a privilege to to be with all of you as as you go through some pretty difficult times in your lives so um jane said uh she's met so many wonderful people and uh, jane you're a pretty wonderful person yourself and um uh, Jane's going through some pretty tough times right now with her daughter, Emily, and I just ask that you all uh, lift her up and pray for her daughter. That would be amazing. Um, Valerie said, be proud. We're honored. Your heart has made a difference, which continues to have a positive ripple effect. And that's the thing, right? When you make that one connection, just like Rick made with Tim, then Tim, I mean... Tim's like a powerhouse now and he just is makes such a positive difference every day you know like I know like Tim wakes up in the morning and he says like honestly this man wakes up every morning and says how can I make a difference in my wife's life and to have somebody like that behind me it's incredible and so that's all we need to do is connect with with one person 
Sean says he's trying not to cry. It's okay if we cry. I'm crying a bit now, too. <laughs> <laughs> thank you jane tanya says thank you so much for these beautiful years jane says thank you and um well on that emotional note can i say thank you for f shooting and filming with me this morning i must say um this week has been rough for you yeah it's been a rough week yes yeah i've had a she had a migraine on monday to start monday it started monday oh i thought it started wednesday well, no, because you couldn't come Tuesday to the meeting. Oh, yeah. So, oops. So that's... Uh, Look at yes. him. Uh, Everybody's shedding a few tears here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sean, I'm shedding for you here. Um, but so, yeah, Melissa had it my ground Monday. It's now Friday, and you've yeah. still got it. And I'm, she, feeling, you, I'm feeling better today, actually. Are you? Yeah, I am. Yesterday was not good. Yesterday was pretty rough. Yeah. But, Wednesday was the hardest. I think that's why I feel like it started Wednesday. But infinitely better than what it was like four or five years ago. This has been a this has been a particularly bad week, but it has. It's fall, an unusual week. Fall sends, tends to be like the transitional season, spring and autumn. It's not unusual for me to have a bad week. But uh, so thank you very much for shooting with me this morning. Thank you for everybody for coming and watching and watching and even in the future. Uh, for uh, your support of the channel next week as i mentioned we will have a brand new yoga instructor for episode 500 that's gonna be fun thank you to uh, cosmic hamsters i love that name that's awesome <laughs> nancy thank you for saying that you've changed our her, we've changed her life in a positive you've changed her life in a positive way simone is uh, praying for praying that's very kind um just so many lovely, lovely comments in the chat room. Thank you very much. And yeah. uh, I think we're going to yeah. wrap it up here. I just want to say, the, the last thing I want to say is that I feel like we think we need to do big things. And it's like, I think Mother Teresa said this. This is nothing new, but we only need to do, what did she say? Maybe Ivy knows, but we only need to do small things with the, small things make a big difference. So... We don't need to do big things. Don't overwhelm yourselves or overburden yourselves. It's those really s small things that make a big difference in each other's lives. And, uh, yeah. Hi, Lori. Welcome. You can go back and watch the recording. It'll be live. <laughs> it won't be live, but there'll be a recording of the live event. Uh, Viviana and Anne, uh, hugs from Cosmic Hamsters. I still love that. I think it needs something like guinea pig next time. It'll be cool as well. In the name. One of our members lost her guinea pig this week. It's very sad. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah. <laughs> so so much loss. Oh my gosh. Oh <laughs> but my that's goodness. that's life, isn't it? It's the ten thousand joys and the ten thousand sorrows. And when we can con connect with our joys and our sorrows, uh, it's all about. It's me. It's all about connection. So I'm grateful for our connection. So and, um, thank you, thank you for being here. This is probably the most. Uh, heartwarming reaction video that I've ever <laughs> we of? obviously filmed it but uh, if we were to go back and watch it oh gosh it, I'll be like this is people will be like this Look is a the reaction size of video. his head <laughs> <laughs> head move <laughs> um, no next week we will be doing things a little bit differently um, Melissa so we've already filmed episode 500 with the, the new person and so that will go live at nine o'clock next Friday. Uh, now you know why we always release on Fridays at 9 a.m. Uh, and if you don't yeah. know, you have to go back to the beginning. But um, yeah, so the next episode, episode 500, 500 weeks in a row. 10 oh, years. We've had a, few we've had a couple of weeks off this summer. <laughs> but yeah, thank um, you. Thank you, everybody. I think that's it. Yep. Thanks for being with us. It was so great to connect with you guys. Were you guys crushed it in the comments today? That was amazing. Thank, Thank you, you for so your support, much. and uh, look forward to your responses next. Oh, well, that's what I was going to mention. Next episode five hundred, uh, even though we've already recorded it, and Melissa is actually going to be premiering I'll it. I'll be live in the comments. So she'll you. be live in the comments. So if you come at nine o'clock next Friday, um, Pacific time, you'll be able to watch the video live as it comes out. And Melissa will be there to respond and comment and say hello to people. And uh, yeah. This was fun. That was fun. Yeah. Let us know if you'd like us to do this again. I well, mean, a variation on the theme. Yeah. We won't still do the yoga. 
Yeah, of course. But <laughs> it's, it's nice to vary it up, right? For sure. Yeah. Okay. Bye, everybody. Are you going to say bow out like you normally do? Wishing mm-hmm. you much love. Yeah, we're sending you so much love from beautiful British Columbia. Tim and I are going to go out for a walk in this now. Get some fresh air. Do you have time for that? I do. Okay. Sending much love from beautiful British Columbia. May your joy be as deep as our Pacific Ocean. May you be as strong as our mountains. And you may you be as rooted as the old growth trees in our forests. Om Shanti. So getting off this is going to be harder. Really? Yeah, because now we've got to figure out how to turn it off. <laughs> you, but you seem like your parents now. <laughs> <laughs> We're so old. <laughs> no, it's because I deleted the... Uh... We are 10 years older than when we started. People have Snapchat now. I don't even know if Trinity uses Snapchat anymore. Yeah, she does. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. Bye, guys.